Joining us in the studio now is Louis Levin, product manager with Microsoft, and next to Louis is Jim Kessler, product manager with Office Solutions. Gary. Uh, Lewis, uh, it seems like a good word processor now has to have at least a spelling check or hyphenation as a source in it. We've seen that so far. Uh, what, is, what else do you really need to have a quality product now? Well, we at Microsoft think that the word processor should help you as you write. You're not just pounding the keys. It would be really nice if the word processor could help you organize the document and could help you figure out what you're trying to say. The other key thing is, what does that document look like when you print it? And we think the word processor should deliver the best output that you can possibly produce with today's laser printing technology. Jim, what are the features that a good word processor nowadays need? Well, really, it should be a real diverse uh, product. Uh, it needs all the full and power features that those type of users demand, yet it should be easy to implement uh, for all broad ranges of the users. Okay, Lewis, you have a Microsoft Word you're going to show us. Right. Show us, yeah. What I'd like to do is just show you something that really distinguishes Word, and that is its outlining feature. Here we are looking at a document. It's a brochure for a product. Turns out it's a very long document. I may get lost in it. I can quickly jump into the outline view, and now I can step back from it. It's less detailed. I have a bird's eye view. If I want to see the details about any one section, like the product overview, I can expand that mm -hmm. or quickly collapse it. Or go down here. I'll expand that and expand here, and we get the text that supports so the that particular point. the outline is integrated point. into the word process. That's, right? that's right. This really helps you when you're writing. It's also very, very helpful when you're trying to reorganize big sections, because I can pick up one of those points, move it someplace else, and everything attached mm -hmm. under it goes mm -hmm. along with it. Mm -hmm. You can also see we're displaying some formats on the screen. You see that part of the title is in italics. Let's take a quick look at some of the, the formats we can display on the screen. I'm going to open up a new window here. And I'm going to bring in a new document there, which displays some of our character formats. And there you can see we've got bold and underline, italics, strike through, all those double underline, all those things are displayed on the screen. Okay, so you and can actually see the underlines, the bolds, the strike throughs. And right, so on. and even crazy combinations of it. Now, when you've got that kind of formatting capability, a key thing is you need a way to control that. And for us, the real way to control that, I'm going to close that, is with something called the style sheet. Style sheet lets you define all this formatting we just talked about and lets you access it with a single key. So maybe I want to change this particular heading to a level 5 heading. And I've defined the formats in my style sheet for level 5. Or I can quickly bounce it back to so level 1. So in other words, a level 5 heading may be underlined and bold and italics or and something. And indented, kind of right. You can do all those combinations. And with one keystroke, call up a particular right. uh, macro-defined format, essentially. Exactly. Now, the key thing you want to be able to do when you've got this kind of formatting control is to be able to print it that yeah. way. And let's quickly see what we give you in print formatting. If I'm setting up characters, one thing I want to do is access different fonts. And here, I'm showing you the list of fonts we support for the Apple Laser Writer, which is demonstrating our support for PostScript. So you can get out all those great features of PostScript and find out what kinds of capabilities from within Word. Now one, of the, one of the fundamental differences in the other word processes we've seen so far is that this is a bitmap uh, graphic. Right, that's the also. trick to being able to show those formats. And, and various italics and Absolutely. things like that.